Hello my dear family members, I hope all of you are preparing well for your upcoming Cognizant Gen C Next, Gen C Pro and Skill Based exams. So as I have several requests from your side to upload videos regarding Gen C Next, Gen C Pro and Skill Based content. So today we will upload an important SQL questions which were asked previously on 2022. So let's see what's the question. Hello my dear family members, have you ever tried to make a software or app? I know answer is yes, but could not proceed for complex coding, right? Now, allow me to introduce you Zigo Cloud. This is a global communication service provider which provides us developer-friendly powerful LTK and APIs to build many communication features on our app, such as video call, chat, video conference, live streaming, etc. You will be amazed by knowing that writing just few lines of code and within 30 minutes, using their APIs, you can create your own super live streaming app with some awesome features like HD video at low bitrate, co-hosting, live text chat, face beautification, virtual avatar, unlimited viewers and so on. So now to get 10,000 minutes free, sign up by providing your basic details and get into the console, then start creating your project. Click on project, then this interface will come. Among the options, you have to click on live streaming and then next, give a project name, click on start with UI kits wait few seconds then select on whatever you want i am selecting for web enable all options and start the live streaming app awesome right so if you are ready to dive into the world of app development with zigo cloud check out the links in the description box for more details and don't miss this opportunity to supercharge your app building journey so the question is regarding write a query to display the order, uh, the order date, total order amount in each day, give an alias name for total order amount as total sale and sort the result based on order date, right? And here is the hint that is use order table to retrieve records, right? Okay, let me show you the table. Uh, table format is uh, given like this. So customers table, delivery partners table, hotel details and orders table are given. But we have to give important to orders table, right? And it contains order id customer id hotel id partner id order date and order amount columns just remember that okay so what are the requirements okay for convenience purpose i have created uh, the orders table like this right okay and i have uh, taken the random values so on 22nd january we have total 7 125.5 uh, uh amount of sale and on 24th of january we have sale sold total 120 plus 90 that is 210 plus 1 211 so total amount should be like this right on 22nd we have this sale on 24 we have this amount of sale and on 26 we have this amount of sales so this is the output for so okay so i hope you will try to solve the problem by yourself and if only not possible then only come to watch right okay so uh the requirements like so as we have seen that uh, we are adding two row values into one right so if we add multiple row values into a single row then uh, we have to use group by and when we use group by when uh, there are multiple rows having same values same date right okay now we'll use the group by clause so at first the requirement is select the order date and total order so order date and total order so to get total we'll use the aggregate function sum total amount right and we have to give an alias name total cell right and we have to retrieve the values from orders table orders right after all we have to sort the result based on the order rate order date right so to get in ascending order will always use order by order date right okay if this uh, would have been asked right uh, like uh, 
uh, sort the result based on the uh, descending order uh, so we would have uh, used desc keywords but here will not okay now we have the task to group by all the values uh, by order date right because the order date is common and it is repeated i mean it has the values in several rows and it has same values right so that's why we are using order date uh, inside group by clause not total amount right so i hope uh, you have got it okay let me run it and see if this is right or not uh, there is a mistake uh, unknown column total amount so what's the name of the column um total order so what's the name of the column sorry order amount order amount okay so okay this is fine right so uh, i hope you understood the logic and syntaxes i used here so if if you still face any issue then let me know i'll try to solve your all queries by anyhow right so if you like this session and if you want more such content then please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding cognizant and if you want all the prime materials then please knock me at my insta i will uh, provide you as soon as possible right so thank you for today's session